I don't know how many RPs there are, but this one is one that has a lot of fun. I mean, the, the sparkle between us and the moments within the structures of, the, of the, the songs where there is a place to go, which is uncharted. And I can just come in anywhere singing. I can, you know, do cross rhythms and, and miss all my cues and we start laughing. And it's a, it's a great free form place. So if you're happy and you're not con under the constraint of actually having to repeat, repeat, repeat. Why did you choose this name of your band? the sensational space shifters well, because that's what we are and i wanted to my previous uh, adventure with them was strange sensation so sensation carries on you know we are moving through different um musical genre i mean justin adams is um he's produced two of the tanaroan albums He's worked with Jar Wobble. He's worked with Sinead O'Connor. He's, he's avoided all the kind of that, that world of rock cliche. Uh, there's nobody in the band that's ever been in a rock band, yeah, except for me. And really, I think that Led Zeppelin was way beyond a rock band. It was, we were drawing, Paige and I traveled a lot through Morocco and Thailand and India and recorded and ourselves and recorded other people everywhere so we i was in a particularly interesting group in those days so to be with these guys now when none of them have chosen that obvious brain numbing path is means that we none of us see the obvious rock um proposal which means that we have a really delightful time claude nups was uh, your european promoter in 1970 and at that time, the name Led Zeppelin was contested by the descendant of Count Ferdinand von Zeppelin. She even wanted uh, to have your Copenhagen concert cancelled. Is it true that the band was billed The Knobs for that concert of February 28, 1970? That's true, but we don't really know because we can't remember, and I don't speak to very many people from that time now. Um, some of them have lost the gift of speech, sadly. Um, but I can't remember whether it was a dedication to our friend Claude or whether it was a reference to the male sex organ, um, which in colloquial terms in England is... The knobs. <laughs> called a knob, yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness me, we can always cut that out. Um, whichever way I'm sure it applied to Claude, no matter what. Um, but it was built, uh, the knobs, yeah. for that evening. Huh? People well, she, went to the concert to see the knobs. Well, they knew they knew really secretly that we but we can't take in vain the name of uh, of that great family um i'm sure that what count von zeppelin did was fantastic you know for the whole of the world peace and and soliloquy throughout europe but i i don't know who did the most damage really whether it was led zepp or his his flying machines i'm not sure but whatever it is we were the knobs and we were happy to be the knobs